identify the bodies um, of those who were burned. Those are the scenes from the Ngong forest, really everything reduced to ashes, save for a few personal items which were strewn all over the place. Accident is Right, you've been able to see from the pictures there that Vice President Kalonzo Musioka is firmly in the scene together with Police Commissioner Matthew Itere. And we've also been made to understand that Prime Minister Raila Odinga has arrived at the scene. Last we spoke to Cyrus Ombati, our reporter on the scene, he said that the Prime Minister was looking for a place to land um, so that he could trek all the way into the forest. Remember, it's in the thick of the forest, around 500 meters from the main road. And he did confirm to us that the cause of the accident was poor visibility because there was a lot of fog and mist, especially in the morning which may have caused uh, the accident. All occupants on board the Eurocopter were burnt and have unfortunately died and they include the internal uh, security minister George Saitoti, his assistant minister Oro Jode, two captains and two bodyguards who I understand were George Saitoti's bodyguards. Oro Jode I understand because he was going home to Homer Bay uh, did not require any bodyguards and we're now joined by Cyrus Ombati who is at that scene where you've just seen pictures from uh, Cyrus Ombati. Yes, uh, yeah, we can get uh, the phone to the media. And I'm sorry, could you please, sorry, could you please say that again? That was very unclear. Uh, we're saying the Prime Minister has already arrived at the scene. Right. And I'll uh, say that uh, the, the press briefing that they are going to pick the bodies from here and take them for preservation and the living room. Uh -huh. They're saying that the uh, the living room of the kind of medical examination for DNA removal and uh, confirmation with the family. Mm -hmm. When they say the, the, the cabinet is going to meet, uh, the, the, head and the, the president, to announce uh, the, the, funeral, uh, the funeral arrangement from now. Well, if and they will announce if there will be any kind of an official morning there in time. Can you hear me? Yes, Cyrus. Uh -huh. Then uh, the, the Prime Minister said this is uh, the government that lost. Some other questions. All right. Um, all right. Thank you very much, um, Sarah Sambati. Unfortunately, you're breaking the connection. Must be very poor um, from where you are. But we'll get back to you in just a short while. We understand that there's fresh footage um, from that scene of the accident. Okay. 
The pictures you've just seen captured earlier on this morning uh, by our photojournalists and reporters who are on the scene trying to get as much information as possible regarding this incident. But Sarah Sombati, who we've just spoken to, has confirmed that the Prime Minister Raila Odinga has arrived at the scene. Um, there is news that the bodies will now be moved uh, to the Lee funeral home and funeral arrangements will then follow although um, the first steps for collecting the samples have ended at the scene and more DNA samples will be collected or rather are expected to be collected at the Lee funeral home so that the families can be able to identify the bodies of their loved ones. Remember, the plane has been burnt beyond recognition. The cause of the accident is stated to be poor visibility uh, because of the bad weather this morning. Apparently, it was really foggy and extremely misty. Um, there's an indication from eyewitnesses that the plane might have lost control. They say that it was really revolving up in the air before it came crashing down uh, and a huge fire ensued, which is why they were not able to save anyone. Matthew Terry, the police commissioner, as you've seen, is already at the scene. And uh, Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, who was also there, confirmed that the incident did happen and also sent messages of condolences via Twitter. <laughs> 